we all know that floating objects displace water. But if this object sinks to the bottom, will it displace more water or less water? Let's find out through a simple experiment. So this is our simple boat and we can consider this a water body. Now notice carefully that as I place this boat on the water, the water level rises up because this boat is displacing some water. I will mark the level of water at this time. Now think about it. If this boat sinks to the bottom, will the water level rise up or go down? So let's sink the boat and find out. Notice carefully that the level of water has gone down. Isn't that interesting that the boat goes down but displaces less water? Let's try to understand the physics behind it. We can understand this through buoyant force. So let's consider boat 1. We know that the amount of buoyant force experienced by this boat will depend on how much water it displaces. Since this boat is floating, the buoyant force on this boat will exactly balance the weight of this boat. However, for the second boat, it has sunk to the bottom, which means the weight of this boat is not balanced by the buoyant force on this boat. So we will draw a shorter arrow. This tells us that second boat is displacing less water than first boat. There is also an intuitive way to understand this. Consider boat 1. Not only the body of this boat, but also the air inside this boat is displacing the water. But when the boat is sunk to the ground, the air is displaced by water. This means only the body of the boat is displacing water. This is how boat 1 displaces more water than boat 2.